Hello Eurovoxers, it's Tommy and Clara here to tell you about the first rehearsal of Denmark. It's, I'm never gonna get this, Flam og Flum. This one. <laughs> this song. <laughs> yeah, so the incredible duo from Denmark uh, with this incredible 80s song. Uh, yeah, very similar to the Dance Comedy Grand Prix staging. Yes. Almost the same, I would say. What did you think, Clara? I think it's very, very, ex very similar to the staging we saw in the national final of Denmark, which it works for them. Uh, it's. I don't think it needs any different staging or anything to be added or taken in a very dramatic way. I think what captivated us from that performance was the authenticity. It's been a long day. Authenticity of the performance, of uh, the spirit of the 80s, of like the youngster being young in the 80s, I think, or being excited in the 80s. And it's colorful, it's sparkly, spoiler alert, it's backed with the pink neons of the contest. <laughs> yeah. Pink and blue neons, trend yeah. alert. Yeah, but you know, he has something that nobody else can, well, many people have it, but something that you can't uh, produce with staging is his charisma. Yes. His charisma and his, um, stage presence mm -hmm. especially at this one point he runs kind of runs around he goes mm -hmm. a bit, it's a, it looks very spontaneous but he runs around on the stage yeah. he runs out to the smaller stage he's you know swinging the microphone stand around and yeah it's just very carefree mm -hmm. and uh liberated i would say yes i like his even if he's it's rehearsed even if he knows he has to run from point to a and point b he likes he doesn't it's still this freshness it, he doesn't know like what he's doing but it's working you know this by chance I got it right and uh, the dance moves are so fun. Yeah, And he, it's a great combination with um, the other person of the duo, <laughs> the guitarist, sorry. Um, because I like the interaction or the, the lack of interaction that they have on stage but that the camera does it really well, like first zooms into one then zooms into the other one and they, the combination of both personalities really helps the song grow. Yeah. And definitely like the endearing parts about the yes. national final performance are still there like he walks out at the beginning of mm. the performance very 80s style mm. uh the silly dance moves the uh and yeah the <laughs> yeah the, the thing, we don't know what this is yeah but. it's like uh when in between the before the chorus in the second verse i think he says something about dancing but it's in danish and we don't understand so suddenly we hear like a small stream of uh, a keyboard or something that was and then he does his pose which is very fun to watch even if you don't understand the lyrics yeah and i just love that it's in danish i just love hearing that that sound you know it really adds to the performance yes and i think the colors of the staging really fit the song the costumes fit very well the style it's like an a song that was produced in the 80s this is what i i've said in i've said this in many videos before uh, the the genie the genius of this song is that it sounds like a song straight out of the 80s it doesn't borrow elements it doesn't just borrow elements it's just like song created in the 80s yeah it's like it was just discovered and yes. it was all the way from back then yeah yes yeah but that's what we think let us know if you've had a look on the youtube channel and seen some of your revision and seen some of the rehearsal clips let us know what you think in the comment section below don't forget to like the video follow our channel and we'll keep you up to date with all the rehearsals from eurovision 2021 until Bye. next time goodbye